Hey guys and welcome back to Hike Oregon. Today is another episode of my PCT prep series. Today we're going to talk all about what's in my toiletry kit and my first aid kit. So my toiletry and first aid kit are all in one system. I found a really cool Eagle Creek packet bag that works really well for both. And I'm going to keep all of this in a really handy spot in my backpack so that I can utilize the first aid kit if need be. So let me show you what is in my first aid and toiletry kit. Okay, so just real quick, here is an overview of all the things I'm taking in my toiletry kit and first aid kit. This is the little Eagle Creek packet thing that I found, and I really like it because it's super organized. So it has one pocket on each side and then one big main compartment pocket, and that is what like the main big things are gonna go into and then I'm gonna have toothbrush, toothpaste, hair stuff in one side and then first aid in the other like pills, ointment, that kind of thing. So let's get started here and we'll start with bathroom needs. Everyone has to go to the bathroom. We'll just start with pooping. So to poop in the woods, I am carrying toilet paper. Um, some people opt to do baby wipes. I don't have a way to dehydrate the baby wipes, so for me, baby wipes are pretty heavy. So I'm only carrying baby wipes to clean myself if I can't, like, you know, wash myself off in a lake or something like that. I will be using toilet paper for going number two, but as you can see, I just, you know, I have just a little bit. It's not that much, and there'll be like this amount in pretty much every resupply box and like what a quarter of a roll maybe so not a lot and you might think what are you using to pee well that's where this comes in this is my pee rag i will be hanging this on the outside of my backpack so that you know the sun dries it and stuff like that i will be using this to wipe when i pee if you come across my backpack, don't touch the man down. And then again, for pooping, I will be carrying my deuce of spades. Trowel, it's like 0.6 ounces. So super lightweight, and it basically is going to go into a Ziploc bag with the toilet paper and my hand sanitizer. And last but not least, I just wanted to show the tampons that I'm taking. I decided against doing the Diva Cup because I find it a little bit too dirty because you gotta really stick your half your hand up there, which is, I find really gross if I cannot wash my hands. So I opted for these really tiny tampons. So again, with tampons or pads or anything like that, you're gonna carry all of that out. You're gonna carry your toilet paper out. So I'm gonna have you know, extra Ziploc bags and everything like that for carrying all that out. So that's why I'm opting to use the pee rag for peeing and not toilet paper because that is a lot of trash to carry out. That really is. Plus my food trash and everything else, snacks. It's just a lot of trash. So I'm just going to do the pee rag route and see how that works out. I haven't done it before, so we'll see. So I just have some toothpaste here. I do non-fluoride toothpaste. I am allergic to fluoride. Then I just have this toothbrush. I know it's probably a little bit heavy, but I like the fact that the toothbrush can go into something that is kind of protecting it rather than just putting the toothbrush with my comb and my fingernail clippers and everything in one thing, I find that really gross. So I like that this kind of folds into itself and you basically just undo this and then, you know, it's one of these travel to toothbrushes and then you go like that, so. That's the toothbrush. Uh, I have half a comb. It's just one of those combs that has the wider teeth and then the narrow teeth. 
I just broke the narrow teeth off because I don't need the super narrow teeth. And then the tiniest of tiny nail clippers here for finger and toenails. And then I have a small pack towel here because yeah, I'm gonna be washing myself off in lakes and going swimming and that kind of thing. So I wanted to show you the Luco tape is wrapped around the pill container here. This is what I'm gonna take my medication in. I do take medication every day, so that's gonna be in this pill container. And then the Luco tape is just wrapped around it so that I wouldn't have to take the whole roll because I got a huge roll off of Amazon and there's no way I would be taking that. But I also am taking Taking this because I've never used Luco tape, so I don't know how well it works. I mean, I hear people rave about it, but I'm also taking this white medical tape that I really like for blisters, and I know it works really well. So I'm also taking that. If I find that I like the Luco tape and it ends up working just as well as this, I'll discard this. You know that I can throw that away easily. So then down here we have the Dr. Bronner's soap. I just like the you know, normal peppermint uh, scent. Again, don't use this in lakes or anything like that. But I am taking this for the few times that I can shower and stuff like that. They don't really have soap or shampoo or anything like that for you. So for those times that I will be showering or trail washing my clothes, I will be using this. Uh, you just cannot put this in a water source, so. And then I have a small thing of sunscreen. I probably won't be needing a ton of sunscreen just because I'll have like, you know, a base tan and stuff. But there are days where you're just not in the trees at all where sunscreen is gonna be important. And then last time I went out for a long period of time, I had serious skin issues because it was super dry. So I am taking a lotion. I know this is quite the luxury item at one ounce, <laughs> but this is super important for me. I will have serious face rashes if I don't take a lotion for my face. So that's what that is. Then let's go over here. Like I said before, the baby wipes. This has 20 wipes in it and it should last me 10 days. I am planning on using two wipes a day just to, you know, really clean myself uh, before I go into my sleeping bag so that I, f you know, feel nice and clean and so that I'm not just wiping my grime onto my wonderful sleeping bag. Also, I have sleep clothes that I'm sleeping in, so I don't want to get those just crazy dirty, right? So, I mean, I'm going to be dirty, but there is a level of dirtiness I'm accepting and there's a level I'm not accepting. You know, I'm just gonna clean my pits and my feet and, you know, nether regions with something like this and that will make a huge difference. And I'm gonna wash my face every day, twice a day. I wash it in the morning and the evening. It just makes a huge difference. And for that, I have the towel. And then over here we have some medical stuff. So I found these awesome little ointment packets on Amazon. They came in like a bulk box, but they're really tiny and they're like single or, you know, I guess you could do two uses out of this, but they're meant to be like single use ointment packets. And I have quite a few in here. Let's see, I'm taking, taking five and then I'll have some in my, you know, just one of my resupply boxes just in case I go through this, which I highly doubt I will, but these are really lightweight and much better than any like tube of Neosporin that I could find. So that's what that is. Um, then I have antihistamine and anti-diarrhea pills, which that can come in handy if you end up getting like sick for some reason. And antihistamine for like if I get a bee sting or something, I am slightly allergic to bees, but not enough to like need an EpiPen. So um, that's where those come in. And then I just have a variety of band-aids. I have some big ones and some, you know, small ones, medium ones, just random band-aids. Highly doubt I'll use those um, just because if I get a blister, I don't use a band-aid, I will use the tape. So yeah, that's what that is. And then I have some free roaming. These will probably go in the pill container eventually or a small Ziploc bag. 
but I have some free roaming ibuprofen in here as well, which you'll need if you get a headache or anything like that. And then, oh, and then in here I just have some hair ties. These are my favorite hair ties, so I'm gonna take like two or three of these you know they're easy to lose so I'd rather have extras and then I'm gonna take some of those small clear elastics as well so that my friend can French braid my hair okay guys that's all that I have in my toiletries and first aid kit for my upcoming PCT hike if you haven't watched any of my other PCT prep videos I will link that playlist below I have a few videos already so, so yeah let me know if you have any questions I'll be happy to answer them I know that some of this stuff is overkill like I said I'm not trying to be ultra light I'm trying to be comfortable and be sanitary and safe out there so no need to comment about weight or anything like that these are the things that I have chosen to take so thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you on the next adventure.